Hallelujah. Now, the theme for Saturday prayers is strategies in spiritual warfare, knowing the traps and deceptions of the devil and our tools and weapons to fight them. And we are on strategy number 59. And the topic is do this in the presence of your enemy. Do this in the presence of your enemy. So before I will explain, bring some uh, vital information, vital enlightenment to your understanding so as to pray according to the word of God that brings revelation and transformation to our soul, spirit, body, and mind. Hallelujah. So do this in the presence of your enemies. Please turn your Bibles to 1 Samuel 5 verse 1 to 6. 1 Samuel, verse 1, verse 5, 1 to 6. And I read, it says, After the Philistines had captured the ark of God, they took it from Ebenezer to Ashot. Then they carried the ark into Dagon's temple and set it beside Dagon. When the people of Ashot rose early the next day, there was Dagon falling on his face, on the ground before the ark of Lord, ark of the Lord, they took Dagon and put him back in his place. But the following morning, when they rose, when they rose, there was Dagon falling on his face on the ground before the ark of the Lord. His head and hands had been broken off and were lying on the threshold. Only his body remained. That is why, to this day, neither the priest of Dagon nor any others who entered Dagon's temple at Ashot step on the threshold. The Lord's hand was heavy on the people of Ashot and its vicinity. He brought devastation on them and afflicted them with tumors. Hallelujah. Let us pause here and digest this word together. It's a word of power when you understand it and when you believe in it, it transforms your life and gives you breakthrough in life. Hallelujah. Please listen. The Philistine took the ark of God and they brought it to the house of Dagon. The ark of God was seized by the Philistine and brought into the temple of Dagon. Dagon is the, is the deity, is the spirit that the the Philistine worshipped. And the Ark of the Covenant or the Ark of God is also the, the is also that box that housed the presence of God. Hallelujah. The Ark of God is also known as uh, the Ark of the Testament. The Ark of the Testament or the Ark of God. So it's a wooden chest that contains the Ten Commandments. So, the Ark of God, it contains the Ten Commandments. The golden pot that had the manna in them. And Aaron's rod that budded. You see this account in Hebrew 9 verse 4. So, the Ark of God represents the glory and the presence of God. And then also, Dagon, the image of Dagon also represents the spirit that the Philistine worship. So, there are two objects over here. The first object is the image of Dagon. The image of Dagon. It is described as a man having head, having hands. And from his waist to the down is a form of a fish. And then also one, another object is the Ark of the Covenant. It's what? It's a wooden chest coated with gold, you know, that contains the presence of the majestic one. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. So, we see this account also. So, the ark of God represents the glory and the presence of God. Exodus chapter 40, 34 to 38. It says, The glory of the Lord filled the temple. The presence of God among the Israelites was fire by night and cloud of pillar by day. And it led, though, it led the house of Israel throughout their journey uh, on the wither land. Hallelujah. So, the ark of God hosts the presence of God. It hosts the glory of God. It hosts the direction of God. So, and this ark of God that 
contains the presence of God, that house, the power of God, led the Israelites through the wilderness. So we have seen that the presence of God, the glory of God, led people through difficult times because the wilderness, in the wilderness, was a difficult circumstances, was a difficult situation for them. They were going somewhere. They were journeying into their destiny. As we believers also journey through this life into our destiny to walk on the path of righteousness and a path of uh, prosperity and success and good life. We are genuine. And if we allow the presence of God, the power of God to lead us, to lead us, then surely we shall walk in success and we shall, sh we shall walk in what? In good health. Hallelujah. So, Exodus 25 verse 22, it said, The Lord commanded Moses, The mercy seat above the ark, There I will meet with you, And give you all my commands for the Israelites. So the ark of the covenant, The ark of the covenant, On top is the mercy seat, Where two cherubims are faced, Where two cherubims are placed. Between that, Between that is the seat of mercy. Between that, God also meets his people and gives them instructions. So you see, the ark represents the meeting place between God and humanity. Hallelujah. So, accordingly, the ark of God is the meeting place between the Israelites and their God. So right now, where is the meeting place between you and your God? We have, we'll keep this question and we we'll answer it later. Hallelujah. Uh-huh. So, how come, if this great and mighty God leads his people into success, how come that the Philistine came and seized the Ark of the Covenant? How come that the majestic presence of the I am that I am was seized by evildoers, was seized by another people who worship other deity? And then we see this reason in... Uh, uh, in uh, 1 Samuel, 1 Samuel uh, 3 verse 11, it says, The children of the prophet had sinned against the Lord, and the prophet did not do anything about it. The children of the prophet have sinned, and the prophet did not do anything about it. So, the, so the, they punished them, amen, by allowing the Philistine to seize the Ark of the Covenant. God dislikes sin. God dislikes wickedness. No matter who that person is. Whether you are a child of God, you are a Christian, or you are a believer, or, or uh, unbeliever, it doesn't matter. God dislikes sin and he dislikes it. And then this time, the children of the prophet sin, and the prophet himself did not do anything about it. So God allowed evil doers to come and punish them, to come and torment them, and slaughter their soldiers, and seize the presence of God that led them. That led them. The meeting place of God was seized. Beloved, do not allow anything to take you out of the presence of God because you will need it. If that presence vacates, your life becomes uh, miserable and everything you do becomes vanity. So, now, the Ark of the Covenant, these days, in our generation now, we do not have the Ark of the Covenant. So, what does the Ark of the Covenant represent to us, believers, this day? Hallelujah. So, our body, our body... Is the Ark of the Covenant. In the olden days, the Ark of God was housed. In the olden days, the presence of God was housed on the Ark of the Covenant. The presence of God comes on the Ark of the Covenant. So in the olden days, the Ark of the Covenant is that vessel that contains God's presence, God's power, God's leadership, God's direction. In our day, the Ark of the Covenant is our body. Amen? Aha. Uh -huh. The Ark of the Covenant is our body. But in our days this day, 
The reason why our bodies become the ark of the covenant, become the vessel that contains the presence of God and the glory of God is that Jesus Christ died to purge our sins and resurrected for our justification, sanctified by the word and the spirit. Therefore, we have become the temple of the living God. Hallelujah. We have become the temple of the living God. We are now the ark of a new covenant. We are now a vessel of a new covenant. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. So the body of a believer is the ark of the covenant. It's a vessel that inhabits the presence, the glory, the power of God. Amen. Uh -huh. Our body is the house of God. It's the dwelling place of God Almighty. So the question we have to ask is that, why was that not possible in the days of Moses, in the days of of uh, David and Co. Why was that not possible that their body becomes the vessel of God? Their body becomes the ark of the covenant that God's presence and glory and power can dwell. Why? Hallelujah. It is because at that time, Christ was not revealed to die and take away the sins of the world and to forgive the souls that have sins. It is because Christ was not revealed. And that is why at that time, it was necessary that they, 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 they create this uh, golden boss that could house the presence, the glory, and the power of God. Because that object, that golden object is pure. It's not contaminated. It's not a spirit that will be contaminated. It's not a soul that will be contaminated. It's not a body that will be com contaminated. But a pure gold in each state that could house the presence, the glory of God. Hallelujah. However, in our case, Christ has died for our sins and washed us from all sins. And there is no guilt in us. So, so that we have been coming the dwelling place of God Almighty. Amen. That is to say... God does not dwell in temples again. The God does not dwell in chests again. Does not dwell on metals again. Praise the name of the living God. But God now dwells in a new creation. To be holy through Jesus Christ. To become the glory, the new covenant, the new dwelling, dwelling place of God. Hallelujah. And that is the reason why you as a believer... Is now the new covenant of God's presence, the new covenant of God, the dwelling place of God, the vessel of God that possesses the glory, the presence, and the power of God in the land of the living. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. So 1 Corinthians 3 verse 16 says that, What agreement is there between the temple of God and idols? For we are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will live with them and walk among them and I will be their God and they will be my people. Hallelujah. Indeed, God did move with the Israelites. He did not dwell in, in the individual, but he dwelt on the Ark of the Covenant. And God walked among them because they have to carry the Ark of the Covenant anywhere they go so that God will be with them and will be among them. Hallelujah. But in our case now, in our case now, we are not carrying any Ark of the Covenant. Because we are now the body of the eternal God. We are now the vessel. The vessel washed in the blood of Jesus, cleansed by the word of God, sanctified by the eternal Holy Spirit to be that ark of the covenant, ark of a new covenant, a dwelling place of God. That's why we are the holy temple of God. Praise, praise the name of the living God. Now, another question rises. If the ark of the covenant was so powerful, could contain the presence and the glory of God, why did the Philistines stole it? And you also, now you are a new creature in Christ Jesus. How come that the enemy, the devil of your soul, can torment you, can seize the opportunity in your life? One, know that it is a vessel, 
a vessel can be seized. You yourself as a new creature in Christ Jesus also, you contain the eternal Holy Spirit. So how come that the, the enemy can, can destroy you, can delay you, can torment you and cause unhappiness and depression in your life? How come? And then the answer is very, very simple. Because we are the object. We are the vessel. So the vessel can be seized by the enemy. The vessel can be denied by the enemy. But the God, the God, the eternal Holy Spirit that is in the vessel cannot be defeated. That is the difference. Hallelujah. So right now, what did the Israel did before the enemy came and took the presence of God from them? One, they sinned against God and they sinned against one another. So right now, you and me, what can we do or what have we been doing that allow the enemy to take the presence of God away from us? Or that we are not feeling the presence of God? One, it is because of sin. Hallelujah. It is because of sin. It is because of sin. Now, when they carry the presence of God or the Ark of the Covenant into Dagon's house, something happened. The next day when they came, they saw that the image of Dagon was, has fallen. And the arms were broken, the head was broken, it left with only the body. They put it in place, the next day it happens again. You understand? So, the, the object, the vessel that contained that present, it is still powerful. It is still powerful. So, you as a believer, what can you do? What can you do in the presence of your enemy? Now that you know that you are the vessel, you are the body, you are the dwelling place of the eternal God, having his power and glory, what can you do in the presence of your enemy? Hallelujah. In the presence of your enemy, what can you do? One, this is what you have to do. Forgive us for forgiveness of your sins. The vessel must be cleansed. The vessel must be cleansed. The vessel must be forgiven. So you as a believer now, you are facing a lot of challenges. You don't know what is the cause of those challenges. You don't know what is the cause of those circumstances and those trouble. But one thing that is common to everyone is because we have transgressed against the righteous laws of God. But so if you come into your consciousness and say, Lord, forgive my sins. It means forgive the vessel that contain, that contains you. Forgive your dwelling place. So the forgiveness is like you are cleansing the body again so as the, 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 the radiance of God will shine through you again. Hallelujah. So when you begin to ask for forgiveness of sin, the vessel is being cleansed. The vessel is being uh, prepared to what? To demonstrate power and glory of Christ. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Amen. Because anytime we sin, we create a portal. We create a, a target for the enemy to attack us through those portals. Hallelujah. And that is why we don't have to do certain things. We don't have to do certain things. Praise the name of the living God. So how can you come out of those, their attack? Second Chronicles 7 verse 14, it says that, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Praise the name of the living God. 1 Samuel 7 verse 1. 1 Samuel 7 verse 1. It says, And the men of Kijath, Jerem, came and fetched up the ark of the Lord and brought it into the house of Abinadad in the hill and sanctified Eliezer, his son, to keep the ark of the Lord. Praise the name of the living God. So this is the solution to come out of the enemy's attack. 
It is because of sin you have been attacked. It's because of wrongdoing. So this is how to come out of the attacks of Dagon. This is how to come out of the attacks of the enemy of your soul. You have to do this. One, it said, sanctified. So Eliza was sanctified, was what? Was set apart. Because those who approached the Ark of the Covenant without sanctification were killed. They were tormented. They were afflicted with boils. They were afflicted with balls. But Eliza, who knows the way of Yahweh, the way of God Almighty, satisfied himself. So for you too, what you have to do in the midst of your enemy is to satisfy yourself. How do you satisfy yourself? As a believer, oh Lord, I have sinned again. Forgive me my sins. Oh Lord, wash me in your holy blood. Cleanse me in your holy blood. That is separation, separating yourself from the things you have done that corrupted your spirit, your soul, and your body. You are separating yourself from them. And therefore, the glory of God, the power of God can shine through you again in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Sanctification is required. The art, sanctification is the art of separating oneself from things that pollute spirit, soul, soul and body. Amen? Uh -huh. So, the vessel must be cleansed once again to host the glory of the living God. Praise the name of the living God. So, when you cleanse your body by asking for forgiveness and stop your wicked ways, your body is now an active conductor to transmit the power and the glory of God in the presence of your enemy. This is where the head of that gun will be broken off your life. Hallelujah. People of God, believers, when you cleanse your body, when you cleanse your soul, your spirit, your body, by asking for forgiveness, stopping your wicked ways, your body become an active conductor to transmit the power and the glory of God in the presence of your enemy. This is where the hands of Dagon, the head of, uh, of principality, is broken off your life. So you have to take notice. The Lord Rishi bless you even as we are coming to pray. Because now knowledge is given. Understanding has been given. Wisdom is available. The application is to ask the Lord to forgive your sins and then we ask the Lord to bless our lives. Praise the name of the living God. The Lord will bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Can you share this broadcast to bless others? Do not watch this broadcast alone. Share it to bless others. The Lord will bless you. Amen. Now our first prayer point is thanksgiving. You see, thanksgiving is very, very important. Very, very, very important. You look at the things that the Lord has done for you. If you don't know any, any one of them, this morning you are alive. That is enough. You are breathing air. You are not paying for it. That is enough. You are drinking water that the Lord has provided. That is enough. So thank God for the things he has done for you previously. And then let us pray together. Great and mighty God, everlasting Father, we honor your holy majestic name. At this time, we seize the grace opportunity and we say we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for the air we breathe. We thank you for the things you have provided. We thank you for every existence in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, you see, asking for forgiveness and forgiving one another is cleansing the soul and the body so as to let the glory and the power of God erupt in you to what? For an achievement. Hallelujah. And that is why we are asking the Lord to cleanse our soul, our spirit, our body, our mind. If there is any guilty conscious, consciousness of sin in us. If there is any guilty consciousness in us. You are a sinner. You are a sinner. God has not forgiven you. In the name of Jesus. By the blood of the Lamb. Lord, cleanse my soul. Lord, cleanse my mind from every condemnation. In Jesus' name. Say it with me. Lord, cleanse my soul. Cleanse my mind from every condemnation, from every sin. Make me pure this day. Make me pure this day. In the name of Jesus, forgive my transgressions. Forgive my intentional sins. In the name of Jesus, pray this prayer. Cleanse yourself before we go to ask other things. Let us pray. Great and mighty God, everlasting Father, we give you praise. We give you praise and an adoration. 
my Lord, my God, we ask that you cleanse us in you cleanse us in the blood of the Lamb. Cleanse us by the eternal holy blood of Jesus. Cleanse our souls. Cleanse our spirit. Cleanse our mind. And my Lord, my God, let us be pure before your holy presence. So as that your power will erupt in us. Your glory will shine forth through us. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now, mostly our souls, the feeling, the emotion, the attraction, the lust of the flesh, you know, is so much attracted to things that pollute our spirit soul and body and that's why we are come to pray this prayer hallelujah can you say this with me father omnipotent and eternal god help me by your holy spirit to separate myself from the things that pollute spirit soul and body holy spirit help me to separate myself from things that pollute spirit, soul, and body. In Jesus' mighty name. Pray this prayer. Because the power is not in the body. The power is by the spirit. So pray, Holy Spirit, help me to separate myself from things that pollute spirit, soul, and body. In Jesus' mighty name. Let us pray. Le katarada gada soto mehehehe, ele kondo brosa kianda raba so kinda raba sandele kiata raba sanda, ele kinda rada gado so mehe meme, eke kere kendo ronda ida kinda raba so ne mehe, ele kita tata bronda kinda raba sende, ele kinda raba sandele kianda raba sendele kiata raba sa kianda, ele me kito koto bege de gede 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 brege de ze gede le makiata raba sanda, ele kika karada gada so mahuza sa sa kianda. My Lord, my God, we pray that Father, you will help us to separate ourselves from things that pollute spirit, soul, body, and mind. In the name of Jesus, everything that we are so much attached to it, but pollute our souls, pollute our minds. Heavenly Father, help us by your spirit to separate ourselves from them. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Now, true sanctification. Absolute sanctification comes from the Lord. That is why you have to say this with me. Say, Father, omnipotent and eternal God, true sanctification comes from you. Therefore, sanctify my spirit, soul, and body to inhabit your glory and power in Jesus' mighty name. Let us pray. Father, omnipotent and eternal God, True sanctification comes from you, therefore, sanctify my spirit, soul, body, and mind to inhabit your glory and power in Jesus' mighty name. Le kanda rada gadoso po le ki anda raba sande ki ata raba sata ki ta. E le gendo cross ki anda raza da gada pro ki anda raba sanda. E le mehele keto rogo do bezege de kere keto soko mahiza zata raba sanda. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord, my God, sanctify our spirit, sanctify our spirit, our soul and body and mind, so as to, O Lord, inhabit your glory and power, so as to inhabit your glory and power. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, ele kendo roda gaya chanda, ele soto mehehe, le ki karanda kute meke prositi to tope he teke, ele gede soto mahiza zata taraba sakata ki inga raga ya kanda. In the mighty name of Jesus, sanctify our body, sanctify our body, sanctify our soul, sanctify our mind to inhabit your glory and power. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Hallelujah. Now. The word of God says that before the presence of the Ark of the Covenant, Dagon had falls, was fallen, uh, and then the hands of Dagon was broken. The head of Dagon was broken. Dagon is the spirit they worship. And therefore, this hour, if there's any evil spirit that is against your life, by this prayer, that spirit will lose its power because the head. The head represents power. The arm represents uh, uh, destruction. And therefore, that spirit will lose its power and will lose its ability to harm you. Can you say this after me? Lord Jesus, by the power of your Holy Spirit, destroy the head and hand of Dagon over my life. Lord Jesus, by the power of your Holy Spirit, destroy the head and hands of Dagon over my life. 
In Jesus' name, that God stands for evil spirit. Let us pray. Le kendo rogaya kataraba zagata loko mehele me leke te leke toko pe gadeze gadeze godo zagada zagada le konda kinda rada gada hu zazakiana ele mehele me leke te zege de be zege de lege de soko bahasa tata in the mighty name of Jesus Lord Jesus by the power of your Holy Spirit every spirit of dagon every spirit every evil spirit over our life is destroyed in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit it is destroyed it is destroyed. In the name of Jesus, ele koto brosa kianda rabasa kianda hasa tata ele mehele keto soko mehele melekete ele gedo soko makianda rabasa kianda rabasa kianda lelele le kina ganda rada ganda soko mehia zaganda karakanda. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord, my God, destroy the hand and the head of Dagon over our lives. In Jesus' victorious mighty name, Amen. Can you say this after me? Lord Jesus, confuse and destroy the captain and commander of evil forces against my success and prosperity. Say it again. Lord Jesus, confuse and destroy the captain and commander of evil forces that are against my success and prosperity. In Jesus' mighty name, let us pray. Le kanda rogo do pesete telegendo ko prosa kia da raga da sonda ele me helege de kindo roda ida rasa katayanda ele me kinda raba sa kia da raboso ko me hele mele ele gendo ko roda karanda kia da raboso ko me heme me ele me kia da raba sa katanda ele me hele kia da raba so kia da raba sanda ele me kika randa kito ko broki inda raba sonda hisa za kia da ele me hele kia da raba sa kia da raba soma hisa zata ele me Kita ganda randa kinda rabasa kianda elegendo soto mehe mele kianda rabasanda in the mighty name of Jesus oh destroy the hands and the hands of Dagon destroy and confuse the captain and commander of evil forces against our success and prosperity in the name of Jesus oh Father omnipotent and eternal God confuse and destroy the head the captain and commander of evil forces against our success and prosperity in the mighty name of Jesus confuse them destroy them. Confuse them, destroy them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' victorious mighty name. Amen. Can you say this after me? Father, omnipotent and eternal God, every dagon of hindrance and limitation be broken off my life. Father, omnipotent and eternal God, every dagon of hindrance and prevention, limitation, over my life be broken, be broken in Jesus' mighty name. Let us pray. Le kanda raga da soto mehele le le ke tere ge do soto mehe me le ke te le kinda rada gada so mehe me me le kendo rota kia da la basonde kia da la basanda le me kinda raka da so ida huza zakia da la basaki anda le mehe le ke le kendo roko pranda gada sanda le le ko to pro kia da la basanda in the mighty name of Jesus, oh my Lord, my God, every dark god of hindrance and limitation be broken off my life, be broken off my life, be broken of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Ele soto mahiza, ele zegedeza, ele kendo roko paranda kia tarabasata, ele mehelege, ke teke tere kendo roko ya tarabasonde me kianda, ele makinda rabasota hiza, ele gede sekete, le gendo ko makinda, ragada sote mele kia tarabasande, le kianda rabasanda. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Can you say this after me? In Jesus' mighty name, Enemies of progress and success and good health. Enemies of progress, success and good health. Expire and lose your power over my life. Expire and lose your power over my life. In Jesus' mighty name. Let us pray. Father, omnipotent and eternal God, every enemy of progress, success and good health, expire and lose their power over our lives. 
and lose their power over our lives and lose their power over our lives in the name of Jesus enemy of progress enemy of success enemy of good health oh your power is being destroyed by the mighty hands of God in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus, enemy of success, an enemy of success, enemy of progress, enemy of good health. Your power has come to an end. Aspire, aspire right now. Lose your ground, lose your ground, lose your ground. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lekinda Rasaganda, Mehuza Zazata, Lekinda Rokianda Rabasakianda. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you and we bless your holy name for an answer prayer. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now that is the warfare. Now we are coming to ask good things from the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. We are coming to ask good things from the Lord. So now it's a prayer for your life. Hallelujah. Can you say this after me? I call forth knowledge, understanding, wisdom of extraordinary ability to come upon me in Jesus' name. I call forth knowledge, understanding, wisdom of extraordinary abilities to come upon me in Jesus' mighty name. Pray this prayer for yourself. In the name of Jesus, I call forth knowledge, understanding, wisdom, and extraordinary ability to come upon me and my household in the name of Jesus. Le konde be ki andara baso ki andara basata hi zaza zatata ele mehele meleketo roko prasa ki andara baso ki andara basanda e mehuza zakinda ranga da broki andara basata ida haza ele kendo roko pasa ki anda my lord my god in your word it is written all wisdom, every good wisdom come from above. And therefore, Father, we ask that give us knowledge from above, understanding from above, extraordinary wisdom for extraordinary abilities in the name of Jesus. Le soka ta roga ida rasa ta brosa ida brata. Le kindo kro bazakia nda rabasonde hizazazata. Le kindo kro skinda gada gada kwa kwa kata. Ele mehele le le kindo kro skinda rabasakia nda rabasanda. E mehuza zazata. Ele makinda rakaya to broken branda kaya nda rabasa hida asatata. Ele meheme ele kindo kro bazakata zakwa kwa kwa tande le heheta. E makunda kinda roka ida huza zazata. In the mighty name of Jesus. Knowledge from above, understanding from above, wisdom from above, extraordinary abilities, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, can you say this after me? Lord Jesus, let your presence, glory, and power come on me in a way I have not experienced yet. Lord Jesus, let your presence and glory, power come upon me. In a way I have never experienced. You have experienced the presence and the glory and the power of God in a dimension. But this time, let the presence, the glory and the power of Christ come upon you in an extraordinary way. You have not experienced before so that you can testify about the presence and the glory and the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pray right now in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, let your presence and power and the glory come upon me. In an extraordinary way that I have not experienced before. In the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, let your presence and glory and power come upon me. In a way I have not experienced before. In the name of Jesus. Abba Father, let your presence and glory and power come upon me. In a way I have not experienced before. In the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, let your presence and glory and power come upon your people. In a way they have never experienced before. Lord Jesus, let your presence and power and glory come upon your people in a way they have never experienced before. Father, omnipotent and eternal God, let your presence and glory and power come upon your people the way they have never experienced before. In the name of Jesus. Le so kranda hazazata, ele mekendo krota takianda, ele mahazazata hizazakianda, ele gondo mehema makida randa idaraka yanda. In the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you and we bless your holy name for an answer prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, can you say this after me?
from the great throne room of God, from the from the great throne room of God, from the great throne room of God, I receive my breakthrough in Jesus' name. From the great throne room of God, I receive my breakthrough in Jesus' name. You know what you are looking for. You know what you are praying for. Therefore, from the great throne room of God, I receive my breakthrough. Mention that. You know, it's not about you. It's not because of any good thing you have done. That's why the Lord is bringing this breakthrough unto you. But because of His grace, because of the throne of His grace, because of that, He's come to bring breakthrough into your life. He's bringing success into your life. He's bringing the things you are looking for into your life. He's bringing prosperity into your life right now. So therefore, from the great throne room, Abba Father, oh, let there be breakthrough. Let there be breakthrough. In Jesus' mighty name, let us pray. Le seke to rota kada la kando ronda ida brasa gada sota ida. My Lord, my God, I pray for somebody right now from the great throne room of God. Let their breakthrough be lifted up. In the name of Jesus, let their breakthrough be received. May they receive their breakthrough right now. Father, omnipotent and eternal God, from the from the great throne room of God, bless them. From the great throne room, O oh Lord, bless them. Bless them, O oh Lord, according to the, your great throne, according to your mercy, according to your loving kindness, according to your favor. In the name of Jesus, bless them, O oh Lord. Break through, O oh Lord. Break through, O oh Lord. Whatever they have been looking for all these years, all this while. All this six months, all these three months, they have been calling upon you today in the name of Jesus. By the grace throne, O Lord, grant their heart desires. Grant their heart desires. Let their prayer requests be met. Let it be met. Let it come with divine speed, divine acceleration. In the name of Jesus, my Lord, my God, we thank you. I will bless your holy name for an answer prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. Please say this after me. From the great throne room of the Lamb, from the great throne room of the Lamb, I receive my healing. If you are sick, sickness and disease is in your body. You are receiving supernatural breakthrough right now. And it comes from the great throne room of the Lamb. Hallelujah. It comes from the great throne room of the Lamb. Therefore, say this after me. Father, omnipotent and eternal God, from the great throne room of the Lamb, I receive my supernatural healing for this sickness, for this disease. Machine them. Let us pray. Great and mighty God, everlasting Father, from the great throne room of the Lamb, I receive supernatural healing on behalf of everyone that is sick. Every, on behalf of everyone that is sick, in the name of Jesus, my Lord, my God, from the great throne room of the Lamb, let there be healing, supernatural healing, supernatural healing that will appear physically in the name of Jesus. Lekonda brosata hiza zatanda kunda, emehuza zakita randa kia tarabasanda, emehuza zakinda randa ida brokianda. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, lekendo kroskinda ragaya kataboka ida hasada. In the name of Jesus, my Lord, my God, from the great throne room of the Lamb, the Lamb that was slain before the foundation of the air, by His compassion and His zeal, my Lord, my God, let there be healing right now. Healing for the soul, healing for the mind, healing for the body, healing for the spinal cord, healing for joints, healing for sicknesses and diseases. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you and we bless your holy name for an answer prayer. Amen. Now, some people have applied for their visa to study abroad. Others have applied visa to, to do business ab 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 abroad. And others also have applied for visa so that they can travel to the nation they want to go because they want to go there. And it's in their nature to travel wherever they want to go. Now we are praying for divine favor so that they, they may be given their resident visa or they'll be given entry visa and be given working permit in Jesus' mighty name. Let us pray. Can you say this after me? Father, omnipotent and eternal God, from the throne room of God, I receive my entry visa. I receive my working visa in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. 
Lekendo rona kia ndaraba sota ida ganda konde lekendo roke ya ndaraba sata la hiza Ele mehele kete ele broski ndaraba so kia ndaraba sa kia ndaraba kia ndaraba sonda Eme huza za kia ndarando kronda kinda haza zata Ele mekindo roko ibranda kia ndaraba sonda ida haza zata in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, O oh Lord, for everyone that want to want entry visa and work and, and they need working permit. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, grant them their entry visa. Grant them their entry visa. Everlasting Father, by your compassion, whoever is working upon their document, may you give that person the grace and the joy of the spirit so as to grant them their entry visa and to grant them their permanent visa in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you and we bless your holy name for an answer prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now, we are praying for scholarship. We are praying for scholarship. In Africa, there are very intelligent students. Unbeatable. Un, un, you know, you can't, you can't even compete with them. They are very intelligent, gifted. But they need help, financial help. So to continue their study anywhere they want to do it. So we are praying right now for scholarship for all students. If you are good, you are intelligent, we are praying that the Lord will grant that you will win a scholarship scheme to come and study abroad in, in any nation of your choice. So we are praying for all youth and all students that they will win a scholarship scheme to study abroad so that they can, they can become great future leaders and personalities in society. Let us pray. Say this with me. From the throne room of God, I receive scholarship for my children. And for all youth and everyone that is able in Jesus' mighty name. From the throne room of God, I receive scholarship for my children. And for all youth and for everyone that has applied for scholarship in Jesus' mighty name. Let us pray. Great and mighty God, everlasting Father, we pray that Father, anyone who has applied for a scholarship scheme, may you have favor, great favor upon them. So that Father, they will win this scheme to come and study abroad. So that their studies will be sponsored in the mighty name of Jesus. Everlasting Father, let them be outstanding in the name of Jesus. Oh, grant them this scholarship scheme in the name of Jesus. Let organization, oh Lord, see their performance, their intelligence, and have their zeal and their resources to finance them and to bless them in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. We thank you and we bless your holy name for an answer for in Jesus mighty name amen now we are praying three prayers in one we are praying for marriages and those who want to get married and we are praying for uh, also for children hallelujah so we are bringing all marriages that the Lord should bless marriages uh -huh. everyone that is ready to get married to a wonderful uh, child of God woman of God a man of God the Lord should locate them the Lord should help them to meet the right partners. And everyone who need the fruit of the womb also, we are praying that uh, children are given from God, a reward from God. Therefore, may the Lord himself bless that womb, bless that couple with children. Praise the name of the living God. Therefore, open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus, we pray for all marriages. My Lord, my God, you say what you have joined together, let no man put asunder, not even the couples themselves. Therefore, we pray for knowledge, uh, wisdom and understanding for marriage in the name of Jesus. We pray that Father, the, the, the couples will love one another, will unite, there will be agreement, there will be discussion in the name of Jesus. The Father, they will understand each other, they will help each other in the name of Jesus, that each of them will perform their duties to let the family grow in the name of Jesus. We pray, oh Lord, the Father, you will protect children in the name of Jesus, even as much as couples desire the fruit of the womb, my Lord, my God, bless them with the fruit of the womb. Bless the fruit, bless the seed, bless the womb, bless the seed, bless the womb. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord, my God, we pray for every single that want to get married, the Father. You grant the man the right woman, give the man the right woman, give the woman the right man in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray, Father, that your grace will locate them. If the man is not in their geographical area, let the universe 
turn around and wait for their favor in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, my Lord, my God, may you bless them so that the right man will find the right woman. The right woman will find the right man. In Jesus' victorious mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Now we are praying for all pregnant women. Uh -huh. The Bible says that as the earth was in darkness, the spirit of the Lord overshadowed, overshadowed the earth and he separated darkness from light. And therefore, anything that is called weakness, darkness, oppression, abortion, we pray that the Holy Spirit will cast it away. Let the light of Christ, the glory of Christ, be upon that pregnancy, a pregnancy and nature, the, the, the child, protect the child, protect the mother unto the day the Lord will deliver the woman successfully. So let us pray for all pregnant women in the world in the name of Jesus. Great and mighty God, everlasting Father, we bring every pregnancy before you that you raise your mighty righteous right hand and protect every woman and protect every mother and protect every pregnancy by your mighty righteous right hand. In the name of Jesus, we come against every, we come against every weakness. We come against every oppression that is not needed. In the name of Jesus, my Lord, my God, we pray for the safety of the mother, the safety of the child, that you will nature the child in the womb. In the name of Jesus, even, even as the child is in the womb, you shall appoint that child to be a minister, to be world leaders. In the name of Jesus, when the time comes that they should deliver, my Lord, my God, release your spirit to quicken the woman to push and to deliver successfully in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, those who are in villages where there are no hospitals for assistance, I pray thee, O Lord, may your holy war angels go there, may your holy doctor angels go there and help in the delivery process in the name of Jesus. We thank you and we bless your holy name for an answer prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Beloved, Protection is very, very important. Physically, rich people protect themselves. They will set security cameras. They will put posts and guard people to guide them. Prominent, uh, prominent people, president, they protect themselves by the soldiers, by the ammunition. Spiritually, we have to protect ourselves. Hallelujah. And that is why you will say this with me. Kindly say, Father, omnipotent and eternal God, in the name of Jesus, release your holy war angels. To protect me from all danger, all accident, all mistakes, untimely death, in the name of Jesus. Father, omnipotent and eternal God, release your holy war angels to protect me, to protect my family from mistakes, accidents, misfortune, untimely death, in Jesus' name. Praise this prayer for your household. Maranda kataganda kindo rogiga garabaso idahuza zata ele mekendo roko prasaki anda rasakanda in the mighty name of Jesus my Lord my God release your holy angels concerning our household concerning our household to protect her from accident, mistake, misfortune, untimely death. In the name of Jesus, my Lord, my God, may they carry us across dangerous zones in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you and we bless your holy name for your absolute protection over our soul, spirit, body, and mind in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Beloved in Christ, we are bringing today's service to an end. But prayer continues in our, in our secrets. In your private home, prayer continues. So I say the Lord will bless you. And I bless you for your goodness, for sending air styles and hearts. The Lord will bless you, every one of you that have shared this broadcast to others to be blessed. The Lord bless you as you bless others. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. The Lord will bless you for your contribution. Your stars is appreciated. Uh, the Lord will bless you. Amen. Tomorrow, if God bless us again with life we will come 11 a.m european time we will come to hear about the word of god we are come to hear about eternal life the path of eternal life praise the name of the living god and therefore come and hear the word of life the the, the way of eternal life everything there is a solution for everything for the body for solution for the soul to have eternal life is solely Christ and the way of Christ alone. That is why come tomorrow, 11 a.m., 
Just come around. Let us share the word of God together. The Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray. Great and mighty God, everlasting Father, we thank you for your word that has come. Bless this and let it be fruitful in Jesus' name. Many are our heart desires, but my Lord, my God, we pray that, Father, you will nourish our hearts with your spirit. You refresh our soul with your spirit, with your word in Jesus' name. My Lord, my God, I pray that every hand of Dagon, evil spirit forces, captains and commanders that are destroying people's life, people's success, people's destiny in the name of Jesus, by the mighty righteous hand of God, I cast that evil out in Jesus' name. My Lord, my God, I pray that your people will contain your glory, your power, and your presence to do the extraordinary in the land of the living. I pray, my Lord, my God, that whoever is lacking, may you provide in Jesus' name. The good heart desires of your people be granted according to the multitude of thy mercy. In the name of Jesus, I pray thee, O Lord, that overshadow them and protect them from all evil in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for their household, my Lord, my God, that you be the lift up of their name. You be the lift up of their head and glory in Jesus' name. I thank you, everlasting Father, that you have blessed us beyond measures. In Jesus' mighty name. Go with the presence of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The grace of God abide with you and the power of the Holy Spirit lead you into all success, into good health until we meet tomorrow in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.